good people, good people, good people. What's going on, man? Real Mio TV. Hey, y'all, listen, man. Um, I do not own the rights to this music, man. Hey, I'm just giving me a little bite to eat, man, at, at Popeyes. That's the Popeyes music playing. I don't own the rights to this music. Young people, stay out of jail, stay out of prison. If you've never been to jail, you've never been to prison, please don't go, man. If you've been, please don't go back, man. Okay? Listen, man. Get closer to God, man. Know that God is important in your life. I'm about to give y'all a story real quick. Hey, look, man, share this video with at least three people, all right? Let's get the subscriptions up. So listen, y'all know I'm a real preacher, man. Um, I'm gonna give y'all this story without cussing them, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so, you know, I kinda, y'all got to ride with me, man. Ride with me. Excuse me, excuse me. So listen, um, state prison back in the 90s. Y'all know I served 16 years of my life incarcerated, right? Y'all people, it ain't worth it, man, all right? So back in the 90s, man, dude, one week from going home, one week from going home, right, dude named C. C was from uh, some part of Georgia, man. Uh, I wanna, it, it, it might have been like Savannah or, or somewhere. I, I forget exactly, but, but he was from somewhere in Georgia, C, right? C used to, you know what I'm saying, be in pretty good shape, man. And C was a muscle-bound dude. Um, C used to like to fight, you know what I'm saying? He punched a few people out uh, down, you know what I mean? Um, so he one week from going home, man. And I'll never forget, back then we could get, um, we could get packages sent in to the prison. Like you could get um, cassette tapes. Uh, you could get um, Walkman radios. You know what I'm saying? I know y'all young people don't know what the Walkman radio is, man. Google it. Google it if you don't know what it is, right? The Walkman radio is you could take the cassette tape, put it in the little Walkman radio, and put the headphones on your on your uh, head and listen to the music. Well, you could get that stuff sent in to the prison um, uh, as a package. You could get you could get um. Uh, pajama clothes sent in like once a year you could get like candy chocolate stuff sent in like around Christmas time stuff like that but anyway nonetheless I had got a, um, a, a Tupac um, tape right I had got a Tupac tape and this when Tupac and Snoop Dogg came out with that song America's Most Wanted so now they got a place two multi-millionaire duck a duck a catch a case when we ready for the throwdown, it's about to go down. That right there. So I remember me and the dude C, we were sitting back there, man, and I was letting him listen to um, my tape, right? You know what I'm saying? And he was talking about everything he about to do when he get out. He had been locked up like 12 years. Um, and, 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 and he was like, you know, like right at like 32, 33 years old. So he'd been locked up since he was, you know, 20 years old basically, right? So he talking about everything he about to do. He get out in a week and this, that, the other, whatever, whatever, right? So then we had a tattoo dude in the dorm. He did some pretty good tattoos, right? So C decide he gonna get him a tattoo. He want him a tattoo. And the tattoo looked like the cross that Tupac had. You know what I'm saying? The, the Tupac um, CD, whatever tape done and inspire him that he want a Tupac tattoo um, with, with the cross on it, right? And it look, look a lot like that. So he had the dude to draw the cross or whatever on a piece of paper or whatever. And so bam, so he getting the tattoo. Man, the dude doing a great job on the tattoo. The tattoo look good. The tattoo look real good, but I'm finna tell y'all how he messed up. And one week from going home, one week from going home, how he gets, how he got some more time, right? So he getting the tattoo. Well, he laying on the bunk, getting the tattoo. This is an open door. He laying on the bunk, getting the tattoo. He getting the tattoo like right up in this area up in here. You know what I'm saying? Like the tattoo right up in here, right up in this area, right? Well, while he getting the tattoo, he laying down on the bed like this, you know, with his face down. And his arms is up like this while he getting the tattoo. So 
So he getting the tattoo like this, and the dude putting the tattoo on his back. So you know, a few people come over there, man, they looking at the tattoo, like, yeah, man, that look good, man. Man, that look good, you know, whatever, whatever. Man, so some hours later or whatever, a few hours later probably, the dude finished the tattoo. Chris, uh, the dude, C, I think his real name was Chris. But anyway, we used to call him C. So, um, the dude, he get up. He get up when he get up. Remember, his arms been like this the whole time, right? Like he laying down on his arm like this. With his arms up, right? Getting the tattoo. So now when he get up, he put his arms down. When he put his arms down, that tattoo that was done up here looked good. When he put his arms down, the whole tattoo drooped down with it. Like that right there. So now this cross, it ain't straight no more. It's like the, the whole thing is like, like like the cross go over and then it droop down like this and, and it look messed up now because when he got the tattoo, his arm was up like this. But when he finished, he put his arm down like that. Now the tattoo messed up. The whole tattoo drooping down, right? So if you look at my shirt right here, if you look at my shirt, and if I put my arm down, then everything dropped down. That's what happened to the tattoo. So now the tattoo crooked, it's messed up. So then you always gonna have one or two silly people, right? That's gonna, you know what I'm saying, carry something too far. So he know the dude did a good job on the tattoo, but the mistake was that he had his arm in the wrong position. So now the tattoo looked messed up. So now he, um, so now the, he don't know yet from the, now, now he don't know immediately. He can't see his back, you know what I'm saying? He don't know immediately. So now he go to the mirror, he got the little handheld mirror. Now you take the handheld mirror, you look in it, and you look at your back like that, in the big mirror on the wall, right? So dude tell him before he go to look in the mirror, he like, dang man, man, I don't, man, my bad, man, you know, da 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 Man, you know, so dude explain to him, while they walking to the mirror, and he going to check it out. He like, man, I messed up, man. Dang, man, I should have had, had you put your arm down when I was doing the tattoo, whatever. Man, that, you know, it's crooked or whatever, right? So, C, C hot. He fire hot. He mad, he mad. But he ain't really mad at the dude, for real, for real. Now it's a few dudes that's coming over there looking. They like, ah, ah, ah. You know what I'm saying? So dudes laughing, cracking little jokes, little silent little jokes. Now I told you now, seek a fight. He done knocked out a few people over there, right? So, man, C walk back out the bathroom, go back over there to his bunk, and the one dude who he had been kicking it with, right? You know what I'm saying? They they had been like workout exercise partners and stuff like that. I forget the dude's name, right? But um. But uh, he wasn't no little dude. Him and Chris, both of them were buff, you know what I'm saying? You know, muscle bound dudes do all them push ups and sit ups and squats and all this stuff. You know, both of them was, you know what I'm saying? So he come over there. He like, man, what you going But But he, he being, he being um, uh, uh, an annoyance, you know what I'm saying? So he come over there and he asked, he, he asked me, he say, man, uh, Man, what you gonna do, man? Uh, he like so, so see, like man, just leave it alone, bro. He like, man, no good. Well, you ain't finna just go home like that, man. Man, what you gonna do, man? When, when your man, you take your shirt off, man. Your girl see that jump, man, looking like that, man. Da da da. Wow. CJ turned around and hooked him. He turned around and hooked him, man. Hit the man. When he hit the man, he broke teeth and nose. I'm talking about. He knocked. He knocked. Like uh, the, the, the uh, front two teeth right here, he broke one of them, broke the man nose. All this right here, you know what I'm saying? Was 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 was, was you know how you turn black and blue? And the dude was a light skinned dude, so he black and blue. 
he done knocked the dude out over there. You know what I'm saying? So now the dude jump up. You know what I mean? After they don't, cause, cause, cause when C knocked him out, he didn't jump on him and just keep beating him. But now, after about another minute, you know what I'm saying, dude jump up, while he go look in the mirror and teeth chipped out, broke, you know what I'm saying, on, on one of the front teeth broke. His nose, we could see that his nose was broke. His nose, you know what I'm saying, it used to go straight down like that. Man, this man knows did something like this, like went over this way and then came back over this way. His nose was broke. So they were like, God, dog, man, he broke your nose, man. Like, man, look at your nose, man. So he in the mirror like this. Well, he come back over there and he square up. Man, it wasn't even a match, man. Man, see them scoop that man so fast. Bum, 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 bum. And hit him, man, when he hit him again in that nose, Man, dude just went to hollering. He just went to scream, hollering. Man, you know, they say, you know what I'm saying, that, that that's painful, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, I ain't never had no broken nose, but I done, you know what I'm saying, been punched in the nose, and it do hurt. Man, dude was screaming, man. So now the police come running in there. The police come running in there. So y'all know, if, man, if you ever been to, been to the joint, man, then you know when them people come, all right, everybody down, get what you're supposed to be, get out the way, all that good stuff. So now they snatch them up, they grab them. Man, I'm talking about, man, they over there, but they moving furniture up in that one. So um, they grab them, and um, man, they take them out. They take them out, you know what I'm saying? Why don't you know that next day, they took C at this particular prison, the county jail, for that county was on the same grounds. Yeah, 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 you see some stuff in, in uh, South Georgia, man. And we talking about like, what, 30 years ago, something like that, close to 30 years ago. Oh, you see some stuff in South Georgia, man. So um, the prison was on the same grounds with the county jail in this county. They took that man right on across the street, charged him with aggravated assault, something else. You know what I'm saying? Gave him new charges, right? So then I heard down the line through the grapevine, man, that he got eight more years, man. I heard C got eight more years, man. Eight more years. Eight more years when he was a week away from going home, man. Eight more years, man, when he sat there telling me all the stuff he about to do, everything he about to get into, and you know, um, uh, his girl this and whatever you know this that and the other man all the plans he had and because he could not control his emotions because he didn't know how to control that anger he got eight more years man he already had them been locked up like 12 years then he got another eight more years when he was a week away from going home young people stay out of trouble Stay out of jail, obey your parents, get you a degree, get you a few degrees, get you some trades, man, all right? But whatever you do, man, don't be in these folks' prisons, man, all right? Control your emotions, man. That's the moral of the story. C, C was not able to control his emotions and it cost him, it cost him big time. Control your emotions, man, all right? Share this video with at least three people. Real Mio TV.